Hey, this is Mike. Really excited to show you this vehicle. This is the first one I've seen. It is a 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. And uh, I just really love the way it looks. The stance is a little bit higher than the regular Cherokees. Has an off-road tire and, and really neat looking wheels. And uh, some of the lettering is blacked out. You can see here where it says Cherokee. It's kind of blacked out there. Now this one's a granite color, which I really like. And, it, you know, it does have the remote start, but I, have, I left the windows down because it's such a nice day. It's a little bit breezy, so I'm putting my wind filter uh, to, to the test. But the, overall, I mean, this is a very impressive vehicle. It has impressed me a lot since I, I first saw it this morning. Now this one has a 3.2 liter V6 engine, has a class 3 trailer hitch, and check out the tow hook. They painted it red to kind of make it stand out. It's got the dual exhaust. Let's see what it looks like under there. But you've got the backup camera. Now this vehicle has not been cleaned or anything. It's still dusty from uh, transportation, but I just could not wait to, to do this video on this vehicle. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the key fob to open up the tailgate. And the key fob has remote start, power tailgate, and lock and unlock. Plus it's a, it's a, um, a proximity key, so you don't actually you know, it'll unlock. You just touch the handle and it'll, it'll unlock. Alright, so back here, um, we've got like this little kit right here that's mounted on this bar. And let's see here, we've got a net. And I'm not sure what this is. I don't know, but um, maybe you can tell me. I don't want to open it up because it's made for the owner to open it up. Let's see if I can open this up. Cool. It's got like a toe strap and stuff in there and gloves. That's neat. In case you get get stuck or something. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle so I guess you can drive it off-road and and have a good time. But here's the subwoofer back here. You've got some anchors and got your anchors for your car seats over there little storage pocket now this bar is removable and I'm not there's a there's quite a few different few different things that you can mount here I think they even make a cooler that mounts on that bar and also you can put stuff in here and it kind of stands up in that pocket so in case you wanted to um, put something there I'm not exactly sure I don't have anything to demonstrate but um, has different uses but let's look under here and we have a have a really good size spare it looks like a full size spare it's got the same tread design as the the vehicle has and lifting that up it knocked this off but anyway let me put that back on there okay well awesome awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and close it down pushing this button See what this side looks like. Aggressive looking tires and the wheels. I don't know, the stance and the wheels and the tires really, really made a big difference on this vehicle. This has the privacy glass here in the back. The front glass is not tinted though. All right, so here's the inside of the door. Got a, a red stitching going on there. Kind of goes along with the red tow hooks, which I forgot to show you. It's got a trail-rated badge here and on the other side. And um, let's take a look at the front. It's got the red tow hook sticking out. But what's, what's interesting about this vehicle, it still has this place for another tow hook there. So I'm not sure. I think that's still functional. 
but it looks awesome I mean some people say they don't really like the red tow hooks but I think it really makes it look cool all right so moving back into the vehicle we have the leather seats with the cloth inserts here and then you have a, a red stitching this is a black interior and uh, the reason why I say that is sometimes the camera doesn't pick up accurate color but it is a dark uh, black now we can lower we can drop the seat down now that seats all the way forward so it's not really doing its thing but this seat will fold all the way down if this seats forward a little bit and um, and that way you have a flat surface same thing on that side this is a 60 40 split seat and um, this seats will slide forward and back it's kind of hard to show you with one hand but these seats will go a little bit forward to access to have more cargo space in the back this folds up and down for your cup holders and armrest you do have a 115 volt AC adapter down there you have some vents front seats look like they're all the way back and leaning back a little bit so it kind of looks like it's diminishing your leg room a little bit but still it's not too bad panoramic sunroof now on this side you know you have your the way the door looks the same as the back you do have manual adjustments here on the passenger seat but you also have the storage here in the in the, underneath the seat which is uh, handy and speaking of storage this has like the biggest glove compartment I've ever seen it goes in there for <laughs> for a mile but um it's pretty neat I don't know if the only thing about that <laughs> that a glove compartment is so big that something can get jammed way up in there and it'd be hard to find it or get it out I like the way even on the little net pockets here it says Trailhawk and the red it's got Trailhawk Hawk here and there it has some rubber floor mats in here that say Jeep This one has a decal here on the hood. Now this is filthy, like I said, but um, on that dark color, it looks pretty cool. Now I'd like to see one of these in Anvil as well. It, the, the Anvil ones seem to look good in the pictures. All right, so here's the inside of the front door, the driver's side, and uh, you got like a little storage pocket there but it's really comfortable handle when you're grabbing the door door locks window controls, side mirror controls speaker you got your power seat and your lumbar support there and the seats are pretty nice comfortable automatic headlamps you have dimmers for your interior lights as well as your ambient lights you do have a, a tilting steering wheel and let's see if it telescopes yes it telescopes and tilts all right so here's the steering wheel I'm gonna go ahead and start it up you can see right here it says telling me how to start it and I push the brake and I push this button and you don't necessarily I notice a lot of people will push and hold that button until the engine is started that's not necessary you just push it and um, it'll start itself all right so now that it's started we have this menu system popped up and this here but we're gonna go through all that but we're gonna start with the steering wheel it's a leather wrapped leather you know leather wrapped and stitched steering wheel and it has a good thickness and is comfortable on this side of the steering wheel we have this is your cruise control these are blank in this vehicle if you had buttons here they will go to the adaptive cruise control 
settings but this vehicle is not equipped with that on the back of the steering wheel we have a volume button that we can adjust the volume we can change to the stations on this side and I'm going to turn it back out and um, so here in the front we've got uh, you have your Bluetooth and your voice recognition once you pair your phone you would answer it right here hang up there you can also make calls using this button and the voice recognition is kind of intertwined with the Bluetooth um, you can push the Bluetooth and ha there's voice commands for that but the voice recognition button here is also for your radio you can say tune to a certain station you can say a certain address and the navigation will go to it so there's lots of different voice commands that you can use on the voice recognition button and there's a whole uh, booklet kind of teaching you how to do that and it's really handy to to use you know once you start using it don't be afraid to talk to your car <laughs> so here's your arrows and OK button and that corresponds to this menu system here between the gauges so I'm gonna just kinda get in there a little bit closer see if I can rest the camera there okay so you got your gauges but right there in the middle where it says stop start and it says 54 degrees on the left side that's the outside temperature it feels a little bit warmer to me but a nice day and on the other side um, right here it says and that stands for me aiming my car at north so uh, that's the compass but where it says stop start it's not ready because steering wheel is turned so I'm gonna turn the steering wheel straight alright so my seat belts not buckled so there's a couple things that will disable the stop start feature which I'll explain the stop started feature is while you're driving and you come to a complete stop for more than a second or so it'll turn the engine off as long as you have your foot on the brake and as soon as you lift your foot off the brake it will the engine will already be running and ready to go so you can check out my video called uh, my first experience with stop start technology and you can kind of get an idea it's not a real thorough in-depth but it's just kind of me getting in a car and experiencing it for the first time it's pretty neat it's a little bit different than what I thought it was gonna be so I'm gonna go ahead and push these buttons here right now this is the stop start It's telling me it's not available I'm gonna scroll down this is audio scrolling down again stored messages scrolling down again goes in the screen setup now I can change I can change the things that are on the corners and stuff the different information I'm gonna scroll down again I have a digital speedometer down again this is the vehicle info now I can push to the right right now it's showing the tire pressure individually on each tire and push to the right vehicle info which is the coolant temperature transmission temperature oil temperature oil life battery voltage and then it goes back to the tire pressure scrolling down gives me the fuel economy and it get, it'll give me a real-time view as I'm driving since I'm not driving and it's not giving me anything now and trip info right here there's a trip A push it to the right and there's trip B scrolling down again it goes back to the stop start so I'm going to just scroll down until I get to speedometer and leave it there but you get an idea that's what these buttons here are for so you can access information there there's your windshield wipers your headlights I mean, I'm sorry, your dimmers, dimmer lights and turn signal there. Your trunk button is there. You have a little storage pocket there. Your fuel cap is on the passenger side, but here is the button to release that fuel cap, fuel door, I'm sorry. Okay, so up here, we've got a little storage pocket. This is the 8.4 Uconnect system, and it's a nice big screen that's easy to read. You have your icons here at the bottom, starting off with the radio, and uh, it has AM, FM, satellite radio, and here's your media. Now your media is where you would uh, play up your CD, 
a USB device, there's two USB devices, auxiliary input, your Bluetooth device, or your SD card input. And all those inputs um, are right here. Easy to get to. Controls, this is where you can turn on or off your uh, auto dim mirror, or you can go into some settings, and uh, there's quite a bit of settings there. Moving on to climate, right now the climate's off, I'm going to turn it on and turn the fan down, it's wide open. So you can adjust the temperature individually, like so, or you can hit the sync button and sync them both. And then you can tell it where you want the air to blow, you can air conditioning, stuff like that. Alright, navigation. This is where you can view a map. You can also go to a specific address. You can enter it in there. And um, basically, let me turn the heat down. Alright, so basically you have a lot of features. You can have different points of interest here. Gas stations and, and restaurants. You can put in your home address and, uh, and it, the favorites, things like that. Bluetooth phone. Once you pair your phone, you'll have your uh, your phone book here, as well as your recent calls, and uh, you can make and receive calls. Your favorites will be at the top, and what, one of the cool features is you can transfer back to your cell phone if you want to have a private conversation. You connect apps. Uh, you do have to register for some of these apps. That some of them are paid services, but um, and some of them use your data off your cell phone, just where it says via mobile. You want to be aware of that. Now, Travel Link is one of my favorites. Uh, you have weather and weather map and different things. But one of the cool things, especially when you're out of town, you're in a place where you're not familiar with, you go into fuel prices, and not only can you sort by price on gas stations around in the area, but, uh, but you can also sort by distance or brand. So if you like a certain brand of, of gas, or if you need to get to a gas station quickly, or if you just want to be super cheap and save a penny, then you can figure out where the cheapest one. Now, let's say you want to go to this particular one. You can push that, and uh, it'll show you the address and everything, and the name, and the prices. But you can also hit go now, and it'll take you with the navigation to that uh, gas station. You can also call them up and ask them you know, questions, like if they have clean bathrooms or whatever. So that's the Uconnect system. It has your, your icons here at the bottom, and you just kind of scroll through and get the information that you want. Now down here, you have some redundant buttons. You have another volume control, just like you know on a steering wheel. Tune through the stations here. And uh, you can turn this screen off if you want. If it's distracting, you can turn it off with that button. You can turn the trash control off if you want there. And uh, that's the back button for your screen there. Now this is your uh, stop start button. You can turn that off. If you don't want the engine to turn off, you can turn that off. So down here is your inputs for your radio as well as a power supply. And here is your awesome four wheel drive system. And uh, let's see here. This is, i just go over to the window sticker. So you can kind of see some stuff but I'm looking for all right let's see here when you're looking for something you can't find it but anyway I was looking for the four-wheel drive you probably see it and you're like hey there it is there it is the name of the four-wheel drive system I can't remember ex oh right here active drive 2 I just want to make sure I got the accurate information. This is the Active Drive 2 four-wheel drive system here. It has a four-wheel drive low and um, you know downhill descent buttons and this right here is pretty cool. This is the like a cruise control really really slow crawl mode. So you can push that and you can it'll kinda keep the vehicle going kinda slow and go on off-road terrain and there's pretty cool videos about how that works and you can also you know set it 
two specific um, specific ones here like snow or sport mud rock you just turn this dial here pretty cool now this is an automatic nine speed transmission so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse just so you can see the backup camera here and um, this one does not have any kind of uh, parking sensors or you would see those in the, this uh, this view here but there's the backup camera and if I continue down the drive then it's just normal uh, nine-speed automatic transmission which is pretty cool by the way you got to drive one to see what kind of experience it now if I wanted to change gears manually like say if I'm going down a hill or or something to where I wanted to control the shifts I can push this over and then I can go like that number and change change through the gears you can see on the on the right there you see where it's changing that's telling me what gear I'm in so I can kind of bump it up and down and get the gear I want or I can go back in the drive like so this is a electric parking brake you can pull it up like that and it'll cinch down the electric parking brake and you can push it down like so in order to release it cup holders are there you got a little pin holder there armrest leather stitching or uh, has a red stitching here and this lifts up this has a two-part section so it has two little handles here the top one opens up this shallow section I guess you can put a phone, cell phone or something there and you can see it has places to for cables to run in and out the bottom part is your storage compartment it also has your 12 volt power supply and a USB right here is your CD player it's a super secret CD player in here but that's where it's located auto dim rear view mirror you do have an assistance button and a 911 button up here and you can push that assistance button assist button and it will um, allow you to talk to an operator and you can set up your new connect system through that now this on this side is a button for your shade as a shade for this panoramic sunroof and I can close it if I wanted to like so everything's electric I'm going to stop it and I'm just going to vent the sunroof so you can see hopefully you can see that I'm going to open it I'm holding the camera down so hopefully you're going to see it goes all the way back there like that now I'm going to open up a little bit more just to kind of show you um, this little net thing that pops up I thought it was like some kind of bug reflector but it's actually for uh, to keep the wind from making a noise while you're driving fast all right so let's check out the engine this one has the v6 which is cool all right So opening up the hood, there's a little latch here, and there you go. See the little latch right here. There's a 3.2 liter V6, and this has a VVT. If I'm not mistaken, it's around 270 horsepower, something like that. Let me know if I got that wrong, that's off the top of my head. Alright, this is an awesome vehicle. So anyways, um, let me know if you have any questions. And if I missed anything or got something wrong. Um, my name is Mike and I got comment section, so check it out. And if you like this video, please subscribe or send it to a friend. Hit the like button. Um, I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.